If getting good quality sleep has ever been a problem for you, then you've got to know about the new Zenbivy Ultralight Quilt System. I've always been on the lookout for like the best quality sleep system I can get, and the Zenbivy Light Bed has, has been that for the last year and a half, two years for me. However, one of the things that always held the light bed back was that it was just a little bit bulky and a little bit too heavy. But that all changes with the new ultralight system from Zenbivy. First of all, it's not perfect. I think it has a few things that it can still tweak and improve upon. And second of all, it is very expensive. Now I have about the most expensive version of this. This is the 10 degree, 10 degree quilt. This is the 10 degree quilt, 25 inch wide mattress with the insulated hood and a pillow system. The final total for this whole system is over $1,100. That is quite the pricey system. While this maybe won't ever be a budget-friendly system, there are some things that you can do to get into this system for much closer to $600. First of all, let's look at the mattress. This is the Zenbivy light mattress. This is the Zenbivy ultralight mattress. It is significantly smaller and lighter than the previous older generation, where to me the light bed is still maybe the most comfortable mattress on the market. It's just too bulky. And I think that Zenbivy really saw an opportunity to slim down and especially compete with the Nemo Tensors, the new Big Adnes Rapide, and some of the other mattresses that are really doing an amazing job of getting smaller. This is a baffle system that uses these diagonal designs. And I have actually been rather impressed. It is very comfortable. And most importantly, it's been rather warm. Now, while it's a pretty small and subtle difference between this and the previous model, this inflation sack is actually a vast improvement, and the nozzle actually lets in way more air at a way faster rate, making the inflation time much quicker. If you got a too full, you can just boop, boop, let it belch out a little bit of air and get that right dialed in where exactly where you want it. But when it's time to dump air, you gotta wrestle with it, but then it gets air out of there super fast. Something that I've always really enjoyed about this, it is a zipperless system, and it just uses these color-coded clips. So blue to blue, green to green, yellow to yellow. It's very intuitive and it's very easy. Now the downside of a system like this is if you're fumbling around in the dark, it can be a little bit tricky to know obviously what color is what, and it's not as easy as a zippered system. And because this is a quilt, you always have the ability to easily just kick a foot out from under the quilt and cool down if you need. And that is actually one of the biggest selling points for me for using a system like this. Now, traditionally, I have been pretty anti-quilt. There's a few things that Zenbivy has done that actually makes this rather accommodating and cozy, which has always been my drawback with quilts. I don't find them cozy. They're lightweight, they do the job, but they're not satisfying. And this is a satisfying sleep system. One of the main reasons is this whole design around keeping out drafts. And if you notice where these quilts attach, there's actually quite a bit more material on the end. So once you link these up, you can still have this extra material that's under you to wrap around you while this guard or this sheet will actually block out drafts. First of all, look at how crazy fluffy this whole quilt is. It is wild how much loft there is. And that's because there's 900 fill power down inside. That is a premium fill. And that means that this is the loftiest system while still maintaining relatively low bulk and very low weight. This quilt is just so cozy and awesome, and there's a few things that I really like about it. Let's start with the foot box. Whereas a normal quilt might just be like a rectangle with a bungee system or some sort of cinch system to draw the foot box closed, this has a sewn-in foot box that is very intuitive, very smart, and very lean. So you always have the ability to cozily tuck your toes in, and on a warmer night, you can leave this unclipped for a more open and airy experience. And for colder nights, you can simply do one little buckle there, and then you've got something that resembles a lot more like a sleeping bag. We'll talk a little bit more about the quilt, but first I wanna to get to a few more things about this sheet. Now Zenbivy actually has the ability to choose different levels of sheets depending on what you want. The old light bed actually had a sheet that covered the whole mattress. And while I loved the comfort and feel of it, it was just more bulk and more material than was honestly necessary. 
So for the ultralight system, what Zen Baby has done is gone for the half sheet, which actually ends right around your hips. I think that was a smart decision. We don't need that sheet. So this half sheet is actually quite a good improvement, but it's not perfect. My biggest complaint with this sheet is actually up here at the hood. At the very top, it just has this little bit of material that hooks over the top of your mattress. And then you have these additional anchors or tie downs or straps that go underneath. Those straps are very effective. However, this hood, regularly, it does this. It just kind of sloughs off the top. And what I think Zen Vivi really needs is just a tiny bit more of a way for that to really hook around in a snug way so that this doesn't kind of pop off if you're pulling this hood up and over your eyes when you sleep, and that is something that I've done repeatedly. That is me being nitpicky because honestly, it's not been that big of a deal, but Zen Baby prides himself on good design and that is a lackluster design for me. This is an insulated hood and Zen Baby also sells a version that doesn't have an insulated hood. So if you wanna go even lighter, you don't need this. But what this hood does is it really provides a reduction in draft. I like to be able to tuck my head into something. It has so much more room for you to move around I can roll, I can twist and turn, and it just feels like I'm sleeping in a bed at home while having that coziness to keep my head warm, to keep my ears warm, to block out moonlight, to block out ambient light. It is so, so cozy. The other really interesting thing that Zen Bibi has done is integrated the pillow with the hood. Now, there's actually clips that you can clip it into the hood to keep it from migrating and moving around. It keeps it in place, so simply, hooking these in and having this hood or the pillow barn up over your head. You really want to cozy in? You absolutely can. This is the nitpickiest of all nitpicky things to nitpick, but this valve system I think could also be improved upon. Now what I've noticed is that to get this to deflate, it requires quite a bit of wrangling. Now what I've found is if you actually do it first, the outer, Get that one free first because that's creating an additional little expansion in here that makes this quite difficult. I always feel like I'm about to rip this and I don't want to do that. I'm deathly afraid of that happening. So I'd love to see this be just the slightest, like 10% easier to lift out or to make this flap just a little bit longer so you can get a better grip of it. We're really getting cozy now. So let's talk about some of the downsides of a system like this. The price is pretty prohibitive. If you want to go all out, with this 10 degree quilt, this beautiful sheet with the insulated hood and this 25 inch wide mattress, it's gonna cost you $1,000. Now I get that that is going to price out a lot of people here. And we haven't even gotten into the tent and the backpack and all these other things. If this bag of beans is just too much for you, I totally get it. But there are some things that you can do for a more efficient or economical system. There is a 25 degree model as well. You can get the 20 inch wide mattress instead of the 25 inch wide mattress. You can go with the uninsulated sheet instead of the insulated sheet. And all of that is actually gonna save you a couple hundred bucks. So I've slept in this system down to 19 degrees and was actually completely warm. The previous night, however, I slept in it at 21 degrees and I was pretty chilly. And I think I found out why. So with this air mattress, if you don't inflate it all the way, get it really crisp and kind of rigid, you will actually not create the air gap that you quite need for the R5 air value, R5 R value to really work for you. If you leave it a little bit soft, it's going to let that cold come through more. And I have found that if you really hyperinflate it, get it really tight, it actually is more comfortable and more warm. As this quilt has had a minute to loft out from being in the compression sack, you can really see just how giant and lofty it really is. This thing is plush. One really underrated improvement of the system is this pillow. They've done an amazing job combining both an air bladder with an actual down topper. And this is so plush and so comfortable. And if you need that extra lift to keep your head up, especially if you're a side sleeper, this pillow is the way to go. What I love about what Zen Bibi has done is they have really evolved and are thinking about sleep in some pretty creative ways. They've shed weight while also going and being more cozy and more comfortable than most mummy bags will ever be. It's probably the most like sleeping in a bed that I've truly found, and it is a beautiful evolution 
from the light bed, which was awesome, but bulky, a little bit too heavy, towards really something that an ultralighter can truly use. If sleep has been elusive for you in the backcountry, I highly recommend you actually look into the light bed or the ultralight system. And if dollars are not a huge issue for you, I think that this system is well worth the upgrade. ZenBivy is also coming out with some new equipment that keeps the budget-minded approach accessible for more people. But this is the ultra premium ultralight system. I'm thrilled with where Zen Vivi is going with this system. And if you can afford it, it's well worth it, in my opinion. I know that there are some other reviews out there and there's that have generated quite a bit of buzz. And honestly, it's buzzworthy. Zen is doing some really cool stuff. It's one of my favorite young little companies, and I just like what they're doing. So if you want to check them out, I've got some links below. And uh, they're well worth it if you can afford it. And if you can't afford it, I totally get it because it's a lot of money. All right, if you have any questions about the system or anything else, please hit me up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'll try to answer as best I can. That's it for me. I'm gonna go hike around in Sedona some more. It's a beautiful day down here. So uh, I'm gonna go live it up. All right, everybody, I'll see you later.